you guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? And welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we are playing iJevin Does Minecraft. Yay! Welcome back, guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic day or evening or... Creeper, we must kill. <laughs> Come here, Creeper. I will stab you in the heart. He's not even looking at me. What a... What a fine! I didn't want to kill you either, you jerk. I didn't even acknowledge me. He was like, you can kill me. I don't even care, bro. I'm just a creeper. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back. We're uh, we're on iJevin Plays Minecraft today. And, uh, you know, I've just been putting a lot of, like, behind-the-scenes time into this. this, And uh, I am just having fun, man. I gotta be honest with you. Um, you know, doing a lot of Let's Plays, it gets grindy. It really does. And ever since two days ago... I started doing different kind of content on my channel, and I'm sure you've noticed. And once again, I want to thank you guys for all the support, because you guys are just amazing. Um, and I've had just, you know, more time to play Minecraft, and I love it. I'm having a great time playing, and I, I before I started recording this video, I probably played this world for about two and a half hours, you know. Making a little pumpkin farm, getting things ready for this first part of the video. And so with that new content, you know, comes the ability to put more content into this video typically we you know we try to get about a oh no all right a rip wheat there we go <laughs> i'll replant buddy it's okay um you know i try to get as much content as i can but most of the videos are rushed and uh the good thing about this video though is that i'm recording like a day and a half ahead of time that way i can just get as much time and do whatever i need to do um, so, you know, I, I got to thinking, instead of trying to do something that I'm not good at, I want to play to my strengths in this world. So, my strength is sort of modular building. Um, and then this kind of goes back to Season 2, um, where the base was sort of modular. If you don't know what modular means, is that... Uh, you have sort of a central theme, and then you build off of that central theme with something else. And, like, so our, our case would be hidden rooms, you know, potion room, things like that. So, I'm gonna play to my strengths. And I, like I said, I want to get as much done in these videos as possible, so I have prepared for this intro with, uh, all of this goodies. It got a lot of birch wood. So, for this theme of, um, so... Essentially, I want to do sort of a, uh, a reminiscent base of Season 2. Like I said, Season 2 is by far what you guys love the most on my channel. So I'm going to bring that to you today. We're going to grab our bed and then we're going to start building. Um, by the way, like I said, with the with the change in content, I haven't given up on Let's Plays totally. Um, they, they will be here. It just takes time to record them because I, I do want to get as much done as I possibly can. Um, and just the, the reception on these last couple of videos, like, great job, Jevin, you know, and all those kind of comments, those, it's really a morale booster, guys. Um, so thank you for just being totally awesome. That's, that's pretty much all I can ever say is thank you, because without you guys, I'm, like I, like I always say, I'm nothing. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So my, uh, my idea was to do sort of a... Uh, a, a base inspired on season two um and i think i want to put it right here i think i want to make a little bridge going across and we will make um the most random line of dirt i've ever seen in my entire life and we will make it sort of butt up against the wall and then we'll go into the mountain i'm very good at mountain building uh, so the first thing that I want to do is I think I want to make some stone brick and I want to make a very small bridge. I don't want to make something that's uh, over the top, I think. Um, I have this kind of idea for like a low sort of land bridge uh, with sort of like pillars sticking out. Um, I think we're going to start it probably right here. And then I want the um, pathway for this to be four wide. One, two, three, four. And then so right right here so let's go ahead and build our first beams across and this will kind of give us an idea of what we're gonna do uh, I do want to do sort of a curved theme for this bridge because um, I, I don't really uh, build bridges very often so when I do I get to have fun with them uh, just like so well just like I said we'll just butt up against the mountain there man that four is looking pretty small maybe we'll go six instead guys there we go one, 
two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I think that's a little better. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, um, with this base, uh, we're going to have a central theme. We're going to be using birch for the floors. We're going to be using red clay for the ceilings. And then any accents will be handled by stone slabs. Um, and it's going to look pretty awesome. Yeah, that, that six wide is much, much better. Um, and so as far as like our little like uh, accents to the actual bridge go, I think I want to do... Let's see. I want to kind of count this as like a, a two spot here. So maybe one, two, block, and then one, two. Let me get rid of these. Let's see it doesn't really work because it's not high enough. Hmm. I, I just want it to sort of look curved, but I guess in my mind... It doesn't really look that way, but what I can do is I can sort of make these little pillars here and fill those in. And then it depends on how many spaces we want to put in between this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and try five. Put that there. And this following theme, something like that. Now, I really like that. That uh, it kind of sits right on the lake bed. We still got the lake coming through. This will be filled up. Just like so. And that gives that a little arch right there. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in the other side. And, uh, you know, just, just try to get as much detail into this as I can. All right, guys. So I've got our bridge built. And we're going to need to sleep in just a moment. But that's fine. Uh, it's a very plain bridge right now. But I've actually got kind of a, a cool idea that I think I want to incorporate into it. Um, the first thing that we really need to do is we need to define where the entrance of the base is going to sit. So let's sort of get rid of this. And I think I might even dial this back maybe one more. Um, I just want to make sure that there's, you know, plenty of room. We don't want to want to sell ourselves short here of anything. Maybe just like that, I think. Eh, maybe one more. I'm sorry, guys. Let me put that down. We'll sleep. Sleepy sleeps, man. I, I don't know. I'm just having so much fun playing vanilla Minecraft lately that it, I feel like uh, I feel like I did when I very first started playing almost like, you know, just that that sense of like, just do whatever you want. Who cares what people think, you know? And I think that's what sort of makes the best worlds. Remember when you very first started playing Minecraft and you made that sort of first build and it was just so cool and you're like, dude, this is awesome. I love this game. That's how I feel. It's a very good feeling. So, um... All right, so we've got sort of this big flat wall here. Let's go ahead and put the entrance to our base here. So we're going to do the the uh, entrances three high. They'll be four wide, like so. And then inside will be four high, uh, like on the inside and outside. Uh, so I need to have this come here. It'll meet there. And then over here, we're actually going to do a little patio. So we've got two here. Let's go ahead and remove two more blocks. And I'm going to I'm trying to think about, you know, how long I actually want to make this. And do I want to make it any wider? Do we, Maybe we should make it. Um, let's make it one bigger. I don't know. I just feel like it's a little small. Something like that. Now over here. And then let's do a little turn. This is going to be more of like, um, almost like a little gazebo or something. If that makes any sense. Something like that. Perfect. So that'll all be filled in. Let's go ahead and uh, get this all filled in. Just like so. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so next up, I'll need to change the floor out and then we'll need to put a cover on top of this. I've got plenty of wood, so I think I'm going to do sort of like a terrace um, with like fences maybe. And then we'll continue on into the inside of the house, I think. All right, guys, so I have been working on our area for quite a while. As you can see, all the pumpkins grew. That's awesome. There's so many there. 
Ta-da! I've got the entrance finished. Um, so let me just kind of walk you through what I've done here. First off, on the bottom, I decided to put fences down there because, well, that that's cool. And uh, then I decided to use stairs every other block just to kind of give it a little, a little bit of depth. And I think it looks pretty good. Then I decided to torch it. Uh, over here, I went through a couple different motions. Um, so first off, let's walk up here. This is sort of like our little terrace area. It's like a little patio that we will eventually develop into like a outside space. Uh, got a nice little view of our world here. Cow. Um, originally, I went with um, these. Um, the fences for the top. And then I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to try and do leaves instead. Or bushes. <laughs> and the bushes came out much, much better. Um, overall, I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Um, if you guys have any critiques or anything you might want me to change about that, let me know. Um, so next up, I want to start working on the inside. So I thought we would do this together because um, I want to show you what I want to do. I've got a, I've got an I I idea, but I, I have an idea, a game plan of what I want to do. And I think you guys are going to like it. Um, bastard gravel, get out of here. I hate gravel so much. Why does gravel have to be so freaking annoying for? Um, I'm trying to think... Do I want to have a space there? Okay, for the meantime, let's just keep digging. Um, yeah, it won't take us very long. Enchanted pickaxe is pretty fast, so... Man, I like, uh, I like that andesite texture. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's actually andesite or not. I get those two mixed up all the freaking time. There we go. But yeah, I've got everything on me I think I'm going to need for this. I'm just trying to decide if I want to leave it one block in or do I want to go back one block. So what I mean by that is, well, let me fill this in. So would I leave it like that? Can I get rid of you? I can. And if we were going to do it like that, we would need to get rid of these two. I think uh, for the sake of this, we're probably going to have to do it... Um, just like right here like like right there okay um so we need four wide on the back because i'm not sure how much i should have probably given myself a little bit more room but it's going to be fine so this is what the rest of our base is going to be themed after and i've been working on this in creative these like uh these textures and stuff in creative man i really want to go one block back hopefully we can make this work with the other side if I need to make that outside space a little bit smaller, I will. I just think that that one buffer block there is going to make this look better. Go there. So there's four. And then we got to get rid of this. So that's how it's sort of going to look. Hopefully that's not... Okay, that's not too close to outside. We're really, really close to outside. But uh, once we get past this room, everything should be much better because we'll have much more space. So four blocks are one block, and then we need um, our four wide entrance. I should be digging with silk touch probably. And then we need our ceiling to go up one. I love my shovel and all. <laughs> the shovel's okay. It's very fast, and it's kind of hard to control sometimes. Where is that at in correlation to that? Okay. Man, I don't know. Man, that's going to be super close. Anyways, let's keep working. So, uh, typically I would just kind of cut past this stuff. Um, especially with all the, the new editing and stuff that I've been doing. But I kind of want to show you the thought process behind how I build something. And like I said, we really want to do something similar to, you know, to Season 2. So this is how I kind of designed Season 2. Uh, there we go. So I will do this side first. And so what I'm going to do is, first off, we need to put a block across the top of here. Then uh, we need to go in one block. And I'm pretty certain, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room. I'm, I'm a little nervous, to be honest with you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. If it shows a little bit, it's just gonna, we're just going to have to live with it. The water will come from up here. Um, right there. So I guess we're going to have to see a little bit of water there. 
Man, I really don't want to see those blocks there. Hmm. We might have to push this railing in one block. I might have to do that afterwards, but... Okay, so, um, next up we need to get rid of you. <laughs> As you can see, I've already been messing with colors a little bit. <laughs> I like messing with colors. Messing with colors is fun. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to push that patio out a little bit. So what I'll do after I'm finished recording this part is I'll go back out there and just scoot the patio over a couple blocks. All right, so first off, we're going to need our red stain clay. I did a little bit of farming at the mesa for this. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find a good layer of red stain clay. So I just mined the regular stuff and made it my own. There we go. Uh, we're probably going to only have to go over one block up there, I think. Yeah, but I just don't, I just don't want to see that fence there, that's all. Yeah, we're going to have to go over just, I think, one block, maybe. And I want there and there. And I'm going to get rid of this because I just want to, I, I need to know exactly how much room I need. There we go. So that's what I want that to look like. And then there will be water falling down from up here, going straight down. Which we can grab in a minute. Um, so then we're going to have... Hmm, stone brick here. And... Wait. No, I did that right. I'm like, did I do this wrong? Wait, did I do it wrong? No. I can't tell if I did that wrong or not. It looks... Seems okay. I know there needs to be an arch there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so water there, and then stone brick there, and then we'll have stone brick half slabs. And then the floor will be birch, and then the, the ceiling will be half slabs of stone. So this is just going to be the first room. We might make it a little bit bigger as we go down, but this is sort of the general theme that I want to do. All right, guys, so I finished up this room, um, scooted things over. I haven't moved this part over yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to keep it this size or what I want to do. I was thinking maybe my, maybe I might put a map of the area right here and just have a little sitting area. Might be kind of cool. If we come down here. This is the design I like. Um, up here, we don't have much room, so down below, I might change it to look like this instead. Um, so say that's that wall. Something like that instead. So it's just a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not sure though yet. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, I want to do reminiscent of season two. This is a good thing of season two. Season two, we sort of, uh, we did it a little bit different. Uh, we had arches and we had the water coming out of the back. And this one, it's a like square, more square shaped. Uh, with water coming out of the top, so this looks like it's floating there. If we want to do hidden rooms, it'll be so much easier to hide stuff up here, too. So, uh, I think it's going to be awesome. Alright, guys. So, I wanted to get a little bit more digging done with the time that we had left. So, I got this stairway done, and then I got this kind of hub room finished. Uh, these are just rough-ins, so I know where everything's going to go. And then we'll obviously change everything later. I've been working on this room. This is so we can get down to the zombie spawner. That is the sole purpose of why this room is so big. So on my, my notepad here, I've got it marked. Negative uh, 254 is the start of the room. And then coming over to 257 is the four wide gap. So this room is going to be a little bit bigger to make it even on all sides. Um... It'll, it'll be long ways, but like width-wise, it'll be this way. So as you can see, I went with the extra pillar in these rooms. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I'm not sure if I want to keep them or not. Uh, obviously, I can always remove it later. I'm going to wait to do the final um, you know, fill-ins and stuff until you what you guys think. Do you like the pillar or no? So like I said, if I go right here and I go down... Um, to negative 89. I never realized how high I was up right here, by the way. We're, um, or no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. 
I think I wrote that down wrong. Negative 89. That's definitely not right. Um, but yeah, it's pretty far away. So it's about... Um, about uh, 60 blocks in that direction. So once I go down uh, level 25, I think it was, I'd have to go down about 40 levels and make a straight path and we'll run right into that mob spawner. So everything will be connected. So I, I'm hoping everything will be able to line up a little bit better in the future. But So let me know how you guys think about this so far. I think it's starting to turn out very nicely. All right, folks, that is going to do it for today's Minecraft video. I hope that you guys all had a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Uh, so, in the future, coming up, like I said, I'm still going to continue Let's Plays. I'm also going to be doing a lot more custom one-off videos, like you've seen the last two days. Not always going to be a glitch, not always going to be a tutorial. It might be a redstone tutorial or something like that. But uh, just different things, and we're going to have a lot of fun with the channel. So I hope that you guys are ready for a whole new Jevin. Anyways, this is I, Jevin. Peace out.